cauliflower and bacon. I'm gonna use pancetta, but bacon or pancetta would, would be totally fine. They're interchangeable in this recipe. So here is all of the ingredients for this dish. I always like to show you them so you really know, you know what you're getting into, you know if you can make it or not. So we have garlic, head of cauliflower, chunk of pancetta, pancetta and peas right here. Awesome dish too, very similar. And I always like to buy the chunk of pancetta like that from the deli counter. We have pasta, two types of olive oil, salt, pepper, and parsley. Okay, so for the garlic, back of your knife, hit it. You can remove the skin pretty easily. Maybe about six cloves and just give it a slice. Just put that to the side, remove these huge stems, of par stems from the parsley. It's like monster parsley here. So uh, mince, I'm gonna mince it up and put that off to the side as well. For the cauliflower, I'm gonna remove all the green on the bottom of it. These are the leaves. Cauliflower grows on the ground like that. And discard that. So now the core here is very hard. You can't rip it out with your hands like you would a head of a lettuce, so you have to use your knife. And then I can rip off some of the florets here. And any floret that's like about this size, you're fine. You don't have to do anything. The bigger ones, just just give it a give it a rough cut. And we're gonna put all that cauliflower off to the side as well. For the pancetta, I'm slicing about a half inch thick, maybe a quarter inch thick. And then I'm making strips. And I'm gonna turn it on its side and cube it. These are pretty big pieces now, but they're gonna get they're going to get a lot smaller when it cooks. So about medium low heat. And put the pancetta in. I put about a little bit of olive oil. You don't really need it because it's gonna render and it's gonna release a ton of fat anyway. And the, the, the cooking time for pancetta is gonna be about 15 minutes. I'm speeding it up here and you, know, you don't wanna see 15 minutes of cooking pancetta, but after 15 minutes, it's gonna look like this, nice and crispy. And all this fat, this really good flavoring we wanna save. So that's what we're gonna cook the cauliflower in. That's kind of the magic of this dish. And a lot of dishes that use pancetta, you're using that fat to just really give it that flavor. So I'm kind of coating the cauliflower with, with that pancetta fat. I'm putting in about three, four ounces of water here. Turn the heat up maybe a bit to about medium and cover it, but you need to watch it. Okay, so yeah, get your pasta in at this point. And now the cauliflower is cooking. It's about five, seven minutes of cooking like this. This is gonna speed it up a lot versus if you just did it without steaming it, it would take about 20 minutes. But look at that, look how nice and brown that is. It's beautiful like that. But we're gonna hit it up with a bunch of salt, about, about a teaspoon, and a bunch of pepper, about a half a teaspoon of pepper. But salt and pepper is really, that's a personal preference thing. So, you know, you can taste your cauliflower now, see if you like it. If you need a little bit more, add a little bit more. So the garlic is being put in now at this point, instead of in the beginning, so it doesn't burn. And let it cook for a couple minutes then add a couple ladles of pasta water to make a sauce. And turn the heat up a little bit to get it to emulsify a tiny bit. This is starchy pasta water is gonna help form a sauce. And then get all the rigatoni in. So this is a pound of pasta. This is a big dish, heavy dish. It's very hard to flip this, but you need a really big pan. So just keep that in mind. Unless you do half a pound of pasta. Taste that pasta, make sure it's good. Remember it's really al dente, so it can cook for a minute or two in the sauce still. This is how you finish this is, this is a good way to always finish pasta. Add that parsley in. I'm gonna put a little bit of the pancetta on now and I'm gonna save a little bit for each plate right at the end. I'm also gonna put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, which is just so good. If you love pancetta, if you love guanciale, bacon, check out my amatriciana recipe, check out my carbonara recipe. Those are both awesome and they're easy to make. Subscribe to this channel, I'll see you next time.